Today is the 27th of July. It's dad's birthday. In October 2016, dad passed away and went to his eternal home with Jesus in heaven. And today I'm going to share with you seven life lessons that I've learned from him. Stay tuned. He connected with people because he valued them. Whether the person was a rickshawala, a bhajiwala, a dobi, restaurant steward, college student, professional, manager, entrepreneur, dad valued people. He would learn their names, listen to them attentively, remember specific details of the conversation, and even the color of their clothing. Dad connected with people because he valued them. I always remember him going up to new visitors in church and just making them feel comfortable and welcome. I learned that you do not only need to be at the pulpit for your life to minister to people. He was a people's person. He had the gift of the gab and always fun to hang around with. Fun, oh yes, his sense of humor. He was a man of the clock. He was punctual and that gained him a lot of respect. He worked in the Gaal for more than 30 years and was treated to the finest of five-star cuisine daily. But he was hardworking and disciplined and maintained his diet and exercise. He loved dressing up with his iconic colognes and his shoes were always polished. I need to learn that from him. A family man. At work in the Gulf, even before the days of WhatsApp and instant messaging, he would always keep in touch. They say you know the values that people have by the way they spend their time. And when dad would come back home after one month or six weeks or two months, we would see him investing time with the family. Be it with us at home or with the extended family or with the church family. And that just showed what we meant to him. Now, I never understood the meaning of generosity until I started working, earning and spending. And that's when I realized how generous dad was with everyone who came in his path. His favorite statement was, God has blessed me, so I'm sharing it. Well, he is responsible for my car collection. And some of these cars were gifted to me in the early 1990s. It's our inner person that influences the world around us. Dad was a man of the Bible. He was a disciple of Jesus. He believed the gospel message and shared the gospel message. So what is the gospel message? It's that God loves us even though we are sinners. Our good works will never be good enough to get us into heaven. And that's why 2000 years ago, Jesus came on this earth and he did many signs and wonders and miracles. He spoke a message of love and compassion and grace. And then he went on the cross and he bore the sins of all mankind. And three days later, after dying on the cross, he rose again and proved that he is God. So the gospel message is that for us to attain salvation, all we need to do is receive this gift of grace. Ask Jesus for forgiveness for our sins because he has paid the penalty for all our sins on the cross. And in this way, we attain eternal peace and an eternal home in heaven. And lastly, he was a practical man. Clear the clutter, get to the root of it, and let's get the job done. Those were seven life lessons that I learned from dad and that I wanted to share with you. By the way, his favorite cartoon character was Fred Flintstone. Remember the animated series Flintstones and that's why I'm sporting this t-shirt today. Well, I hope the past few minutes have been enriching for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and God bless.